peace to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Dennis Kabinki. Thank God for my friend and my pastor, Reverend Philip Gardiner, for this privilege to share with you the work of God in the Philippines. Let me read to you a portion of scriptures from Mark chapter 5, verse 19. When the Lord says, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. And th I thank God that's what I'm doing. I'm back to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. On Sunday mornings, um, together with my family, I go to a place called Mayorga. It's seven kilometers from my home. There are about 20 believers in this place who have been stranded due to COVID. They couldn't go to the church because of lockdowns. And so the pastor is a friend of mine ask me to give them the oversight yeah, so i'm involved in the preaching ministry uh, in the sunday school and also in uh, main messages and i'm involved in counseling as well uh, we have a brother here who had been convicted of drug addiction thank god he is out from prison and i minister to him pray for him his name is joshua after that we go to the city uh, which is called Tacloban City on Sunday afternoons. Uh, there's a church there that has been founded by a friend of mine. He was a classmate of mine in Singapore uh, during our theological studies. And uh, because he moved to another city, so he asked me to take over. Uh, we have about 50 um, worshippers on Sundays, and I'm involved in the preaching ministry, in the choir ministry, and also in taking care of the whole church. I'd like you to pray for us. It's a, it's a work that needs to be strengthened. And may the Lord help us. Uh, by God's grace, I'm also involved in Let the Bible Speak. As you know, Let the Bible Speak is now in the Philippines. Thank God for that. And Pastor Gardiner has given me two Sundays to share the Word of God. And, and I loved this ministry. I'm so honored for the opportunity to preach the gospel. Lastly, I'm also involved in missions. Um, you might have heard that there are two other pastors in my country who want to join the Free Presbyterian Church. One of them, Reverend Ebenezer, he called me this afternoon. He told me about the problem here. Uh, a church in Bacolod is struggling because... The elder stepped down due to health reasons. Uh, so we are thinking on how we can strengthen the work. Uh, obviously, we need uh, co-laborers. We need missionaries. Pray that God may provide and uh, pray that, that the work here may be strengthened. There are many things that need to be done. We hope to start a Bible college. We hope to start a magazine. Uh, but all this in the Lord's timing and in, in the Lord's will and in the lord's enablement and so we remember you in our prayers as well and thank you so much for all the love that you have shared to us god bless and uh, blessed easter sunday thank you